Hi, my name is Simon Zupan. I work for the Department of Translation Studies at the University of Maribor. And over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to present you the equipment and the booths that we use in interpreter training for simultaneous interpretation. Now, we are currently located in the largest room at the Faculty of Arts. It is called the Amphitheater for what you will see are quite obvious reasons. This room was refurbished uh, recently and it now has a capacity of uh, 300 seats. At the center of the room, as I think you can see, is the lectern. So this is the area where the speakers, typically professors, are located. And suspended above the lectern are four screens which are used to to uh, display the any visual materials such as um, slides or uh, videos. Now, the main reason, however, uh, why we are here is because we want to, of course, show you the interpreting booths. And uh, behind my back, I think you can see four or rather five windows. And right behind those windows are our interpreting booths. Now, the reason we started our presentation here is because we wanted to give you an idea of how those booths are actually integrated into a lecture room. And this is important because it means that the booths can be used on the one hand for uh, interpreter training and on the other also for real-life interpreting assignments. And next we're going to show you the outside of the booth from the other side. We are now on the other side of that wall, which you saw behind my back earlier. To my uh, left is the entrance into the amphitheater, and to my right is the entrance uh, that leads to the interpreting booths. As you can see, we're out in the hallway, uh, which means that the booths actually have a separate um, entrance, which is important because it means that the activities in the booths can take place even when there is uh, something else going on in the amphitheater. And in the next step, we're going to show you the inside of the booths. We are now uh, right inside that corridor which you saw from the outside earlier and to my left are the four booths. So we use this passage and interpreters use this passage to access the booths. And um, we are going to actually show you one of the booths in more detail right now. So we are now inside one of the four booths. Um, as you can see, the booths or each booth has two windows, the large one at the front, and this is obviously used to um, get a good, good view of what's going on in the, in the lecture room. Um, and then there's another window to my, in this case, to my left, and this window is used to for um, nonverbal communication between the booths. And then um, the booths, of course, are also equipped with interpretation equipment. Right in front of us, we have one uh, standard interpreting desk. Um, the equipment that we use is uh, Bosch Integros. Um, it's a sturdy, reliable piece of equipment, which is quite convenient for interpreter training. And then next to that, we have a little black box, which is the splitter. Um, it's to split the audio signal so that we can use two, two headsets per one uh, interpretation desk. And finally, we have the um, monitor. And this monitor has a double purpose. In interpreter training, we use it to display uh, videos. But for, whereas for real life interpretation assignments, it is used to display uh, slides that the speakers are using, as you, all, as you can also uh, see right now. Now, um, regarding the booths, I also want to point out that they were made uh, in line with, the, with ISO standards. So the width itself, however, is that uh, which, is, which applies to mobile booths. So 100, uh, the booths are 160 centimeters wide, and they are all equipped with, the, with, ven with a ventilation and air conditioning system, which makes sure that the conditions in the, booth, um, in the booths are as they are supposed to be. And all of the uh, booths are also sound insulated with, in line with ISO standards. We are now inside the control room. This is where the instructor or the teacher will usually uh, sit. And from here we can 
um, have a good control of the uh, booths and we do we control the booths with the help of equipment that we ha have here I'm going to present four um, things four items the first one is the computer we obviously use the computer to uh, play files that the, the with speeches that the students then interpret um, inter instructors can either upload their own um, files uh, so they can bring uh, their own speeches on USB sticks or alternatively they can use um, speeches from various platforms such as YouTube um, and then they will uh, stream those videos inside the booths. Now the next item is this uh, panel which is to my uh, right here. Uh, this panel is control used to control the um, video and audio signal inside the uh, the booths as well as inside the amphitheater and we, and we can also control the lighting from here. And then the third item is this little um, console that we have here. This I think is actually uh, probably the most important um, piece of equipment that we have here. So this uh, console is used to monitor monitor the situation in the booths so for example when a student is interpreting and you want to listen in to what's going on say in booth two all you have to do is push the button number two and then the the audio signal will then um, become appear in your headset and then um, the instructor has the uh, possibility to also somehow split between the original speech and the um, interpretation and uh, what you can also do is adjust the volume of each um, of those signals separately so for example if you want to get an impression of what the student would sound like uh, to the audience you can simply turn down the volume of the original speech and uh, that's one thing and the other is that this um, uh, device also functions as an intercom so you, it means that you can communicate with the student so if you want to provide feedback to the student who sits still sitting in say one of the booths you simply um, um, press the button of the uh, wanted booth and then you can communicate directly with the student and then um, finally we also have um, here uh, in this rack for audio uh, recorders so these are uh, I'm talking about these four audio uh, digital audio recorders we use those to uh, record students during the interpretation uh, these are stereo recorders which means that they have two tracks um, uh, left and right and we use uh, the left track to record the original speech and then the right track to record the uh, the student or the interpreter and uh, both recordings of, of course are then uh, aligned and then um, after the uh, the students have completed interpretation you can play the recording of that interpretation back to them inside the booth so we will um, simply press the play button and then you can um, play the uh, playback as I said the uh, the recording of that interpretation and again the equipment has uh, some nice features because again you can adjust the volumes of both tracks separately so if you want the student to get the an impression of what they would have sounded like to the audience you simply turn down the volume of the original speech or the, the other way around if you want to for example draw um, their attention to a particular uh, section of the original speech you just simply turn down the volume of their interp interpretation. And then finally, um, we also have, of course, um, uh, the receivers and the headsets, uh, which are then used when we actually uh, either want to provide real life uh, interpretation or when we have, uh, when we organize, for example, uh, mock conferences, if there are students um, outside, um, I mean, in the amphitheater who are not um, actively interpreting, they, uh, using these headsets, of course, they have the opportunity to uh, listen to their colleagues. And of course, the instructors also use this um, in order to get an impression of what the interpretation sounds like to the um, audience. And this actually completes our presentation of the equipment and the booths that we use in uh, uh, interpreter training at the University of Maribor for simultaneous interpretation.